Aloha. First and most importantly, please do not attempt to modify or open anything with mains directly exposed like this unless you're professional or absolutely know what you're doing. This charger stores a very high charge within its capacitor that can make you shit the bed if you put your nose pickers in the right place. <laughs> Dig at your own risk. If you do fuck up, don't wipe your nose on my sleeve. Here you see before you is a butt ass naked MagSafe 2 charger for a MacBook Air. I've soldered the mains, live and neutral, as well as the earth ground onto the board where they go. This one is most recognized by its 45 watt rating, but technically it's a 14.85 volt, 3.05 amp AC to DC power supply. Don't get confused by it being a power supply, though it is exactly just that. Inside the MacBook and all other laptops, I believe, the actual charging circuitry is built into one or several of the boards. Just need some power supplied, hence the power supply. At the end of this charging cord, there's an orange and green LED built into the inside of it. Those LEDs are dependent on the, on the laptop itself and not the charger. So when you open up this charger and you only see two wires, don't go digging for more. There's not more than two. There's only the two and they're going to the device that's supplying power to the laptop itself. Again, don't be digging around in here unless you know what you're doing. I have discharged this capacitor and it is unplugged right now. But it's not that simple. Maybe that's why you clicked on this video. Right now I have this plugged into 117 volt mains outlet, but the internal circuitry in here leaves it optional for 220 as well. It goes both ways. <laughs> when I close the switch, you see the voltage go up and will stay bouncing around 700 millivolts. Here's a 700 range. Now you're stuck because you refuse to gargoozle it and you search YouTube and now like me you're watching videos in other languages fiending for an answer. All the way down in the sweaty taint of this is a microcontroller. One of the things this microcontroller does is monitor the voltage on the output. When it sees the voltage drop to around 1.7 volts or so the data sheet says it will allow the voltage to go high. The resistance that this thing needs is around 39,000 ohms or 39k, which shorted across the rails put the charger into operate mode. So this one's not quite 39k. It's very close though. So when I short this across the lines, you'll watch the, the voltage jump up to its rated voltage. So right now we're at the rated voltage, it'll bounce back and forth. That bounce you see right there, see the voltage drop and that's when it's dropping down to check for this resistor. On the scope, it'll show you the same thing. You'll see the voltage rise when I touch the pins and drop when I disconnect. And it'll drop at these that point where it's bouncing back and forth. So I hope you find this useful.